personally, when um, I, you know, I, I just happened to choose this particular um, um, donor, and um, in the kind of occupation or major column, it says um, economics and finance, and personally, that isn't very um, compelling to me because um, I have kind of that part taken care of. I would be more interested in. Um, say um, a donor that has music or nutrition, film, uh, psychology, those sorts of um, occupations or majors are, would be more compelling to me. But I, I wouldn't rule out this particular donor based on economics and finance, but that doesn't make him very compelling to me. <laughs> Can I ask you, all, all of you, do, do, do you know what I mean by heritability? I do not. Okay. I don't guess at it. Um, what, what would you guess? Um, things that you would inherit. Yes. From things that you can yeah. inherit. Yes. Um, if, you, if you look at the variation in the human population, mm -hmm. there are some things which are strongly inherited. Right. And you can say that, uh, that if you have um, such and such a gene, it will definitely um, show, its, show itself, for, for example. Mm -hmm. um, something like blue eyes or brown eyes, eye, eye color, mm -hmm. is strongly heritable. And so choosing on the basis of eye color would, would make sense because, mm -hmm. because that really does mean that, it's, that you can, you know, there's some mm -hmm. predictability to what the child is going to be like. Right. But there are other characteristics which have low heritability, mm -hmm. uh, which means that it doesn't matter what you choose in that, in that characteristic. And so I, mean, I, I don't know what, looking down this list, has high heritability or low, mm -hmm. but if something has zero heritability, then you're wasting your time choosing on the basis of it. Mm, Whereas if something has right. high heritability, then it's something that is actually could could make a difference. Well, exactly. That's, right. That's why health considerations are so important. I, especially those health considerations which have high heritability, yeah, which not all do. Right. Mm -hmm. um, there was there was one that caught my eye. Um, Okay, uh, this, this one donor sounds interesting to me. Um, the uh, ethnic origin is um, Italian and German. Um, the height is 6'1", um, hazel eyes, curly brown hair, and um, all of that sounds very good. So to me, I would be and, and then what, interested. And what's his profession? Music, which music, of course okay. is fantastic, but of course we don't know whether that is something that is inheritable or not. Um, but I think if you have a proclivity to it, then it would stand to reason that, you know, it may be something that um, would be something that you could inherit. But I, I think don't there's know some that. evidence that musical right. ability does have right. very high heritability. You know, um, I'm a Darwinian biologist, yes. and so to, to me, it, you could say it's, sli it's slightly strange you have to pay them at all. I mean, a, a naive Darwinian might say they should pay you uh, because uh, the one thing that every animal that's ever born in this world is set up to do, is yeah. put into the world to do, yes. is pass on his genes yes. to the next generation. Yes. And this is a fantastically yeah. efficient, trouble-free, yeah. expense-free way of passing on your then genes. Then I can say very simple, then there's something wrong with the theory. Because, because if we don't they, pay them, they, they, they don't, don't show up. They don't, don't. That's, well, that's very interesting. They, I mean, so that's yeah. how simple it is. So there's something wrong with the naive version of the theory then? Well, uh, first of all, uh, let's just be very practical. The guy comes in here, he masturbates. He has to go all the way here to masturbate to sit in this room. I think the guy will rather sit at home and do it uh, if, instead of oh, paying yes, me money. He's trying to pass yeah. on his genes. Yeah, but again, um, it's, just, it's not just you know, sending a letter and passing on the genes. You still have to be here. You have to have blood samples yeah. taken. Yeah. And it, it takes quite a while for the whole process. So I just think that, uh, that uh, maybe the whole passing on the genes is not such you a... Don't, you don't believe it? I, I, I believe yeah. there. That you could, you know, well, my wife and I are having a kid now, so of course there is an urge to, to have children. But I, I think that it's kind of like it, it's... It's almost like the sperm bank. It's it's it's. They don't see it as a reproductive yes. well, that uh, is part of their I mean, life. It, it is true that, it, that 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 is the Darwinian imperative. However, the Darwinian imperative normally plays itself out yeah. through normal 
uh, sexual intercourse between a man and a, and a woman. Yeah. And so the urge to procreate yeah. shows itself in the form of the urge to copulate yeah. and, and the urge to make a, make a home to, together, make yeah. a nest together. Yeah. It doesn't show itself in the urge to just find a way using modern technology to pass on your genes. And I mean, it, yeah. it, it's, a, it's an instructive point. In yeah. Fact. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. It, and it's sort of like it's, it's, you know, it's, you know, even though they know that there's children here, it's just really, it, it, they know it has nothing to do with them. It's just a little spare part that they're delivering, and then somebody else, you know, it, 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 it's such a, you know, masturbation has nothing to do with reproduction. Do any of them show any, any curiosity to, to try to follow up the children after they're born or anything like that? Uh, I'm, I'm sure they're not very, allowed to. Very, very, very few. You know, right. there, there are, for example, uh, the donor sibling registry where, where a patient can register if they've had a, a, a child with one specific donor, and, and then they can also say, we would like to talk to the donor. Very few donors uh, participate in that. They, they would be allowed to if they wanted to. I mean, they. Well, they we can't stop them. No. Uh, it's a it's a it's a service that's outside no. of our own company. We have nothing to do yeah. with. That really. Uh, the, that the donor. Really surprises well, if me. the donor has money, he could go in uh, in all the newspapers and say, "I am donor. This and this and this. You know, if you have, if you're a child of mine, you know, I you want mean, to talk to you. You mean I I am donor three hundred and sixty six yeah. point something or other. Yeah. You can get in touch with me, and they uh, don't. Yeah. Do that. Well, they they, they they don't. So uh, so th th it doesn't seem like the urge is there. And at the same time, also, remember, we allow two types of donors. We have the anonymous donors, but we have the known donors also. So you can actually be a no donor where the child is allowed to know the identity, mm -hmm. but very few choose that option. Yes. Uh, m maybe there's a wish to reproduce, but not uh, have 100 children. <laughs> it's yes. uh, yeah. It, 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 uh, I think I would be curious to see them. I mean, I'd, I'd, want, to, I'd want to see, do they look like me, or, or uh, do they sort of... Are they interested in the same kind of that things? Not that they're telling us again, and, and again you can yeah. see that they're, they're just choosing more to be anonymous and, yeah. and, and, and not be part of that. Uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, I can understand that yeah. because they don't want the responsibility. Yeah. They, but um, I think, I, think I, I, mean, I haven't talked to, of course people are curious, it, it, you know, what happens, and you, I'm, so, I'm sure they'll think about it down the line, and, and, and it's, a, it's a curious thing to think about, but I, again, it, it's, it's, it, we have been a, we've had a sperm bank for 20 years, and it's not like we're being getting calls from uh, previous donors saying, you know, I want to know about your children. It, it hasn't happened. We haven't had a, 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 you know, a, the phone calling all the time. I, I haven't even heard about anybody making such a request. What's the maximum number of children that any one of your donors, to your knowledge, has produced? Uh, I've, uh, there, there are some, a couple of donors that have had around uh, 100 pregnancies. Right. All in the New York area? No, 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 oh. no. That's on a worldwide basis. Okay. That's that's uh, that's on a worldwide basis. But we the, the sperm is sold, sold everywhere. So. Yeah. What's your view of the future if this catches on and becomes? I'm presuming at present most pregnancies don't come through this. No, luckily not. No, no, no. It's a small but, business. Uh, luckily. In a hundred years' time, could you foresee a time when? Uh, the majority of pregnancies are done in this way. In mm, absolutely case, not. I mean, I, I'm not asking not. whether you want that to happen. No, no, I don't think. I, 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 I can. When you talk to patients on the phone, they're not calling. Like, Woohoo! We have to call the sperm bank. It's the opposite. It's like it's like it's like they're forced to use us because they've failed by the normal. Or way. well, there are of course also lesbian and single women. Yes. Uh, that of course have made decisions that forces them to or, or have a, or, you know, if you're lesbian, that's just a. You need to get sperm from somewhere yeah. else. Yes. So, so, uh, and but I, I still think for them, it's, it's, it, it's. I don't think calling the sperm bank is particularly. It's not a fun thing to do. No. Okay. Uh, we try to make it something that they, in the end, are happy about the process, and they're happy about the donor they choose. But it's, it's not really something that you, you, you know, run down the street. I, I, I use the sperm bank. The other thing. But I think. I think. Let's, uh, I think it will. It does get more and more accepted, and people find out more and more. And I think that the industry is getting. A lot more structured and and are uh, getting really serious about doing a good job. That I think people will understand it. It's not something that they have to be afraid of, and it's not something they have to be embarrassed of. No, okay. The other thing that might happen in a hundred years is that instead of just giving them the, a few details of the donors, you mm -hmm. give them the entire genome because oh yeah, at, at, oh yeah. At present, it's very costly to to make a, to to anal to to, to yes, sequence yes, the yes, genome. Yes. But in a hundred years, it'll be cheap and quick. Yes, and agreed. so you would be able to give them the entire genome, yeah. and so you know exactly has have they got a gene for this kind yes, of. Yes, correct. Yeah, d I mean, do, do you foresee that that'll happen? I mean, and well, the, what, what I've seen so far, just in the few years I've been in the United States, is there is an urge from the patients to know more and more and more. People want to be as secure in their choice as possible, but the problem, of course, is of course the donor. What is what is he willing to? 
accept you know how, how much information does he want to give about himself yeah. so it, it's it's and he it doesn't it, want his life insurance company to to get hold of the information for example no there, there's a lot of so, so there's a lot of things about that that, that the more information patient wants and the more they, they require and if it becomes the standard I think it gets more and more difficult to find donors Right. I think that's the problem. There's a, a strange aspect, which is that the, the choice that these women have if they come to a place like this, mm -hmm. they have actually far greater choice than they would normally get when choosing a husband. Oh, definitely.